RF propagation. RF, remember, radio frequency propagation. When it travels. That propagation means when it travels from point A to point B. Now, we have spoken about uh, free space path loss. Basically, physics dictates that as a wave, a radio wave travels, travels in time, it's going to gradually lose power. Think about the the signal for, for Wi-Fi, right? The little dot in the middle, then it's got those little lines. To draw that correctly, actually really accurately, those little lines, those little half lines like that, they should decrease the width of them as, as, as those lines progress, right? So you should have the dot in the middle, the, the antenna, and then those little lines, they should get gradually thinner. Why? Or narrower. Why? Because as the radio signal goes out, right, it increases its range. So it gets broadcast, it goes out, and it increases its range. But as it does that, it also loses power. Remember, think about back to the example course uh, lesson two the the log that that went into the water as it went into the water it produced this wave of energy that started moving but as the wave went out that wave got less and less and less yes until when it got to the end it was just a little ripple same principle same principle so there is a, a simple, what we call a simple inverse square law. Whenever I read simple, <laughs> I get really worried about, uh, yeah, sure. Simple for, for, for scientists, right? But it says that the, this, this simple, this, that symbol, by the way, is, is the symbol for directly proportional. That's what that symbol actually means. So we say over here, power is uh, uh, directly proportional to one divided by the square of the distance right so in free space power is directly proportional to one divided by the distance so if we say one divided by two meters well you know one divided by two is going to give us a half yeah okay we know that but if the distance is 10 meters or 20 meters then the calculation has to say 1 divided by 20 and obviously in that case you're going to see that the value is going to be much smaller so you can use this type of calculation to start figuring out if you're building a scalable and a robust wireless network where are the custom where are your clients where are the people that are going to be using your wireless network is it a warehouse right is it the football field people in a stadium is it in an office so these are the things we need to think about so in free space in a in an open football field in an open rugby field soccer field we know that that's the calculation right one divided by the distance squared but indoors, it's not so simple, okay? There's not such a simple law. Empirical studies, now I had to go look up the word empirical, I didn't know what it means. Empirical studies mean by observation, right? By observation. In other words, not done in a laboratory with, with equipment, but just by empirical study, by observation, we know that indoors, it, it's not the same. We certainly do not get the same range indoors as what we're going to get outdoors. And the clever people say to us that indoors, this is kind of the formula, right? The, the, uh, the, the, the power is directly proportional to 1 divided by the distance to the power of n, where n is between 2 and 6, the value of 2 and 6. So you can then see that if I start to do this, division that imagine one divided by two to the power of you know uh, uh you know to the power of six well that's going to give me a lot of zeros make sense okay good stuff